All right, all right, all right. Coming to you live Friday. Got a dumpster pack cleaning here. Filling up our EBC. Doing some pre-treating. We got Carlos Gonzalez EBC. We are downtown live. Just invited Doug. All right. So we got this dumpster pad right downtown. Not a lot of for parking. What's up, Doug? Hey, Patrick. How are you, man? Doing well. Doing well. Good. What you up to today? You cleaning the dumpster? Yes, sir. Yeah, down, awesome. downtown Greenville right now. You see, mm -hmm. topping off our EBC right now. I got the sun in my face. I'm gonna walk around here. Yes, yeah, so we got That's this dumpster awesome. pad. That's your soft wash rig on that trailer? Yeah. So you're cleaning the garage and the uh, dumpster pad? Yep. Yeah, you can see how bad this is. This just got cleaned a week ago, Doug. Wow. One week ago. Is this so, yeah, uh, a regular account that you're doing? We got uh, four dumpster pads. And then five shopping plazas uh -huh. with one demo. One demo. So that's how you got it with students. How did you initially make the contact with them? So we've been going after um, this one account. We've been going into their office doing what Ron does with our sticky notepad. And we right. finally got to bid on um, a public. So we've done a couple publixes and shopping centers and then they said all right come out and do a demo on our our uh garbage compactors right here so we did that and then she just basically you know gave us the accounts we did really good for the publixes and uh they're liking our work so far so she just handed over some more accounts and she manages a bunch of other properties as well wow that is awesome so you're doing them on a weekly or monthly or what so she wants to do these on a weekly because they're really, really bad, and this just got cleaned two weeks ago. So the, the actual waste um, company has their guy come out and clean these, and it's just not getting done, and the city's on their back and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Wow. And I see you're using EBC? Yeah. That's awesome. EBC, everybody's cleaner. That's right. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, you can see how bad it is. Hey, uh, UAMCC convention's coming up. That's right. Right around the corner, man. Getting my PowerPoints together. I'm excited. We're going to be teaching a class together. What are we teaching? We are teaching pressure washing 101, basics to pressure washing, little tips, tricks, you know, kind of what we've learned over the years. I'm excited to share. Things to do and things not to do. That's right. We can share a lot about that, can't we? Things not to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very true. So. Yeah, and I'm excited. I mean, all the stuff from your classes and stuff, oh, man, jam-packed of knowledge, man, just knowledge. I know you're going to yeah. bring a lot to the table for sure. Yeah. It's always fun teaching with you. We always bounce stuff off each other and uh, also just get to share different ways we do. Not everybody does things the same way. We get to show different ways everybody does things. So they get to learn off of that two different ways, try what works best for them, and yep. then uh, go from there. So how long are you guys going to be out there today? Uh, we'll probably be out here for two, I'm thinking two and a half hours. We'll get it done. Oh, that's good. Good. You got yep. anything else to show us? Uh, yeah, we can walk around here. We'll check out the rig real quick. Reminder for everybody to go to UAMCCEvents.com and get registered for our class. It's the Pressure Washing 101 class. I believe it's on Monday at 10 o'clock, I believe, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, somewhere in that area. But make sure you go to UAMCCEvents.com, get registered for the convention. The convention is absolutely free, so it doesn't cost anything to attend that. And also our class is free also. Pressure Washing 101. UAMCCevents.com. There it is. Yeah, so that's here's your Alcoda. Yep, that's a little Alcoda. 
Man, I'll tell you a little bit about this Alcoda. We bought this. And this thing has been awesome. Got the Vanguard motor on it. It's been holding up real good. Got the 20, you know, TS2021 pump on it. And, uh, you know, flow switch just went out. Just had to put a new flow switch on it. Right. But other than that, this thing has been really good. How long have you had it? Eight years. Wow. Yeah. And then I got the proportioner on here uh, for, you know, mixing the EBC and stuff like that for putting down on uh, my flat work. So that's working out real well. Real Interesting. Well. And you, you're using the proportioner for your EBC. So yep. what do you do? You just open the detergent only with the water? Yeah, yep, exactly. So I just keep my the SH valve off. I put my detergent on whatever I want. And then I have my little um, stinger hose here that I can put in whatever soap I want. EBC, you know, if I'm doing a metal roof, gutter butter, whatever it is. Right, right. And then I'll uh, just put my detergent on. I usually put it on like a four and I'll mix it in my five gallon bucket and then I put it on a four. And I just make sure I'm laying down a little bit thick. Wow, that is awesome. That works out well. rig. Yep. Then I got the eight gallon amount machine. We just did a job last night, so we got the service cleaner kind of in there sideways, but it's nice. Got the generator for lights at night, surface cleaners. Got the Steel Eagle, and then the little guy. The little guy works real good with the six gallon amount machine. Yeah. You got that trailer packed. Yep. It's been a workhorse, though, that's for sure. It's a beautiful red precision power wash color. Exactly. Yep, and then I got my three-quarter inch supply hose. That works out pretty good. We put a, a shutoff valve, and I had to run all my hose out because they left the shutoff valve off. <laughs> so I couldn't fill the tank. I had to let all of it out. But uh, that helps out if I need to move the trailer, you know, from site to site, keep my water hooked up, and then just move it and run more hose so I don't have right. to roll all the hose up every time. So run me through your day. What do you got after this today? Yeah, uh, I don't have the – the other truck is around the corner. It's got the work order in it. But actually, we might have it – we got it right in here. We got two other big jobs to do. So we got this one. I'll show you our work order. All right. So each truck gets a work order here. And then we got to put in our time in. Our time out, we actually grade the guys on time in, time out, and then we do like a dollar per hour on each job, you know? Uh-huh. So let's see what we got. We got mollies. We got... Next job is a little, little trim package. If I can see if you can see that little trim package for 219 and then a piece of vinyl siding for 160 Windows, so a little, little job for... Four hundred dollars. That's the next one. Is a four hundred dollar one, and then we got a six hundred dollar roof cleaning. Good deal. Yep. Got a nice, got a nice day going. Yeah, so that's pretty good. We try to book up, you know, each truck. We try to book up um, around fifteen hundred dollars per day. Right. And we do pretty consistent with that, and that works out well. Um, as far as the guys not getting burnt out, sometimes we'll have a two thousand dollar day. Um, residentially, but um, the the proportioner helps out with that. You know what I mean? Getting stuff done a lot quicker. So, but I don't want to overbook. Keep them on long term, and so I don't want to burn them out either. So you got to find that happy medium, and it seems like that oh, fifteen hundred dollars. Freeze up on me. There you go. Phone call. Forty-seven purchase orders here. I'm going through. I got to get scheduled for banks to do. Wow! Banks, nice. Buildings, drive-throughs. Yeah. So we've we've already started. Done about ten of them. Got about thirty-five more to go. Thirty-seven more to go. Something like that. Damn. That's where it's at. That's right my there. day. Or that, that's my morning. Yeah, we've been going out at night, leaving about eight o'clock, and doing two or three at a time. Okay. You know, as long as I as long as I can go, you know. I last about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the night work. You know, we do a little bit of it. And I like that's why I like these dumpster pads. You can do them in the morning, early in the morning. 
So I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, I, was talk, I was talking to my buddy Larry Millett yesterday, and we were talking about how Saturdays and nights we always dread leading up to it. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And then once we're out there, we're like, wow, this is kind of nice. It's cooler. It's quiet. There's nobody around. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a big dreading leading up to it, but once I'm out there, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, but. I know. It, it's like quiet, it's peace and calming, you know what I mean? It's yep. you and the wand, some kind of bonding moment. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, no uh, house owner running out, looking, checking, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. So. Yep, less people. Well, better. good deal, man. Uh, so, UAMCCevents.com, everybody needs to get signed up for the national uh, convention. The convention is absolutely free. It's in Orlando, October 16th, 17th, and 18th. And our class, I believe, is on the 16th, correct? Yep. On that Monday. That's right. So that's the Pressure Washing 101 class. Yep. Going to be a good one. See you guys there. Awesome. All right, man. Good. Good talking to you, Patrick. Yeah, you too. Talk to you soon. All right, man. Have All an right. awesome Bye. day. You too.